going on scouts 311 here and this is my third attempt at a skyrim playthrough because my first two that i played on my pc both somehow got corrupted or something because i couldn't continue them so frustratingly i'm doing my third one here um because i really want to play this game i haven't actually gotten through the game because every time i try to do it i it gets goofed up so anyway we're starting fresh and um, I'm playing it this time on the 360 version, which I've never had an issue with. For some reason, my PC version keeps goofing on me. Maybe it's the mods I was using. Um, I don't know what it was, but this one should work. That's all I'm saying. So my first attempt was with a mage, and my second was with like a barbarian. This is going to be an assassin. I am using a build from another YouTube um, user. And he has a whole bunch of build videos that are really, really good. They're really entertaining to watch. And his name is Trendkill. T-R-E-N-D-K-I-L-L. -L. He actually has like Trendkill V01. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like Trendkill level 1 or what. Um, but that is what his name is. So I suggest you go check it out. If you're into, uh, you know, trying to learn, play different builds. So I will be doing an assassin build. And that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak. The true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Alright, so the way I'm going to play this Can game, too, is a little away. different than most of my other playthroughs that I do have up, um, Kinnerip, which is talk. just a couple, but Divines, please I usually me. don't... I don't talk over when they talk, um through cutscenes or whatnot. This game doesn't really have cutscenes. General Tully is the military governor. But it does have story, you know, story conversations. Damn elves. So I'm going to try not to do that. To do with us. And, but I'm going to be a little quicker in this one. Um, the last one I was trying to, like, find all the primary locations. This and this one I'm just going to try to go pretty fast, I think. We'll see how it ends up. I always say I'm going to go fast and then I end up taking forever, so we'll see. Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they getting? Where are they going? We need to go inside with them. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. So anyway, I will probably, what I'm going to do is go through the main quest up until a certain point. Um, which is kind of the the end of Act One, I guess, and that is when you start learning some of your um, shout abilities. Um, I'm gonna learn a couple. You do a couple quests, but you you know you meet um, the Greybeards and you learn some of your stuff. I want to get to that point because I think it's nice to be able to get to that point and have a couple of those shouts, and then I'll probably either continue the main quest. Or go, or uh, I might join the Thieves or the Dark Brotherhood. Because those, those are two quests I have never done. Because I've never actually played, like, a thief type of character. So, anyway. That's the goal here, kind of. No care of No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! This guy's, he's awesome. 
I love how he thinks he shouldn't be punished, even though he admits to being a thief. You there. Step forward. Who are you? All right, so there's a couple different classes you can pick um, to be in uh, Sky for like an assassin type of character. You know, wood elves are really good at archery, um, and Argonians are are not bad at the the stealthy type of characters either, I believe. But we're going Khajiit. That is actually how the build was, uh, you know, said to go. You know, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go um, with the preset real quick just to get through this. I really don't care too much on how my character looks that much. I kind of like the tiger look. Especially, yeah, anyway, so. I may change his hair to do kind of that little thing going on the back there with uh, the earrings. Yeah, there we go. Any hair? Nah. Now nah, he doesn't need the stash. Okay, he looks fine to me. And I'm going to go with... Um, I usually name everybody Scowls, but I'm actually going to change this one. Maybe that'll be good luck. Um, since my other two Scowses haven't made it that far, I'm going to go with the name that I named my rogue back when I played World of Warcraft like five years ago. And that is Eviscerate. Because he will hopefully be eviscerating plenty of enemies. That's the goal. Make sure I spell that right. Okay. Now, uh, the Khajiit get bonuses to many of the skills that are... With one of the trade caravans, Khajiit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Hold on. Captain, yeah. what should you do? One of the builds on that, the uh... Forget the list. He goes to the block. Or the skills that are good for the assassin build. He gets a bonus to sneak. I'm sorry. A plus 10 to sneak. He gets a bonus to archery. Uh, to one hand, I believe. He gets that. Um, light armor. I'm not sure on the light armor, but I'm pretty sure pretty much everything that you want him to have a bonus to, he gets a bonus to. So for this kind of build, so he's a really good character for it. Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like your voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our... As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning. I think this guy's got the guts. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. You Imperial bastards! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the cat! The cat. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. All right. Now, also, I'm doing like I'm doing commentary at while I'm playing. I'm recording at the same time, but I'm also the way that my um, recorder works is I'm like a half second or a half second behind audio-wise. So sometimes I may say something to react. Is something that's a little off, so that's the reason why. All right, so we got it going on here. Alright, I'm going to try to get through this quickly, um, because like I said, we've seen this a lot. Most people have probably seen this stuff. I've seen it, this is the third time for sure seeing it. I 
Alright, so we need to jump across here. And continue onwards. Now you could almost make it, sometimes I think. If you just keep going, but... It's better just to wait. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunner, take care of the boy. Okay, real quick, I'm going to do a setting to change here. Um, with my display on my brightness, I'm just going to put it because my TV tends to be dark. So, um, it's a little TV. It's not that nice. So we need to book it over here, and he's going to end up... here we go. So that guy got knocked right off. I didn't even see him get knocked off that ledge before. It's kind of cool. Okay, so we got to book, book through, and we are going to... Um, basically, we're going to go with... you have a choice to go with Imperials or the, or the Rebels here. And we're going to probably... I don't... I'm probably going to go with the Rebels. Because the Imperials tried to cut my head off, to be honest with you. You could run right in the door and not wait. But it's always fun to watch this part. I don't know why. I just love that. <laughs> and he always falls in a different spot, like every time I've started this game. So that just proves on the randomness of it. Um, it likes to change itself up here. Sometimes he actually lands in the yard where you can walk up and look at the body. Sometimes he lands over the um, the wall there. Now we will be on the 360, and so there are going to be the loading times are going to be a little bit longer than um, we're used to. If they get really bad, I'll try to edit them out. Um, if they're not too bad, then I probably won't worry about it. We'll see what happens. We'll meet again in Solomon. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here, let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. May as well take Ganyar's gear. He won't be needing it. All right. Um, I will also be looting, um, most likely, the way I like to usually play this game or any of these games. Bethesda games I, what is what I mean by that oh, is looting at a um, looting at a ten to one. Uh, ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that. Game. Looting at a 10 to 1 weight to um, value ratio, meaning that for every 1 pound of weight, it should have 10 no pounds of 10 gold. Um, that's to keep my my thing down. Money isn't that important in this. I mean, you, you still make a good amount of cash just doing it that way. And you have less trouble with over, being overweight and having all that issue. So. And I'm actually going to try to play this game a bit in third person, which is something I normally don't do. But uh, I found it was kind of, kind of, interesting, kind of fun, different. So like this guy being, but my 10 to 1 just as an example, this weighs 60, so to pick it up, it ha have to have a value of at least, or weighs 6, it has to have a value of at least 60 to pick it up. This has to have a value of 20, 20, so I'm going to leave that, 10, you know, basically. It's just a quick way to do it, and then... You know, 10 to 1 is, like, that should have a value of 350 to pick it up, so I'm not going to pick it up. 40. Sometimes if it's, like, 4 to 30, maybe I'll grab that anyway. Um, if it's real close, I'm not that crazy about it. Like that, I'll grab. Um, okay, so that's kind of how I'm going to um, be doing my looting. Um, and that's about it, so where are we at here? We're at 14. All right, we're going to end the video here. It's the first part of our of the Skyrim walkthrough of the assassin so thanks for watching and uh, part two will be coming up soon thank you